Hello and welcome to Sudokana. This is a position sum Sudoku puzzle that was created by the professor Richard Stolk from the Netherlands for this uh, round, round five of Sudoku Grand Prix 2021. This was a, a round with very mathematical variant and this one is a mathematical variant. The goal is to, well, apply the usual rules of Sudoku. And then whenever you have a number here in the white strip, it means that this is the sum of those two digits. And when those digits are, have been found, let's say they are seven and eight, then we look at the digits on seventh and eighth positions and their sum is in the gray strip, the gray band. Okay. And that's it. So where do we start? I think we start here. S 16 can only be 7 plus 9. 4 can only be 1 plus 3 on 7th and 9th positions. Here, 4 can only be 1 plus 3. And now, 8, there are two options. If, we, if this is 1 and this is 3, then 8 must be this plus that. But in this case, that must be a 7, which is not available. So this is impossible. So we get this plus that, and that is a 5. And this time it works, which is reassuring. Here 14, without using the 9 or the 5 for that matter, is 6 plus 8. Now we get 2 and 4 in these two cells. And those two digits now have a sum of 10. And one interesting stuff is that we know that 6 and 8 are not available for this sum of 10. So they must be odd digits. This one is not 1 nor 3. So the small digit has to be here and the big digit has to be there. And I think that's it for the bottom of the grid. Let's have a look at those 15s. Well, 15 is either 6 plus 9 or 7 plus 8. So one of them is one of them. <laughs> I mean, one of those two pairs goes here and the other pair goes in the corresponding positions. But we already know that this in position 9 is none of those digits. So the positions are not 6 and 9, they must be 7 and 8. And now 6 and 9 must go into those positions. And because of this 6, it's a 9 here, a 6 there, and it resolves this. That's a 7 and a 3. So this 10 now is really fulfilled. The other 15 here must be 6 and 9. And 13 uses this digit and this digit without using 6 or 9. It has to be 5 and 8. Here and there. Now, where do we look? So what will this be? This 6 can be either 1, 5 or 2, 4. And something interesting is that it includes a 1 or a 2. So one of the positions will be here or there. So the 15 sum must use one of those digits. And the only digit that fits is the 5. And we must put 5 here because here 
we would have to use the 1 to make this 14, which doesn't work. So it's 5 here and 1 there. On position 1, it's a 5, and on position 5, it's a 9. It disambiguates the 1, 3 pair at the bottom. Here we need 2, 3, and 4. And now something interesting. Here we have two sums equal to 6. So one of them must be 1 and 5. And because of this, one must be on the first row. And one on the first row is counted here one won't be able to make a sum of 12, so it has to go here, one five, and we get a two in fifth position. Now we get two and four here, and the digit in position two is used in the sum of 12. So four has to be here, two would be too small. And we put an eight in fourth position. Three is not here, it has to go there together with an eight to make this sum of 11. And now 15 will be this digit plus this digit. Without using eight, it has to be six and nine. So it's a nine here and a six in third position. And we still need seven and nine in those two cells. Now this nine, well, it seems to be too soon. But this three is interesting because three is the sum of two and one. So we know there's a six here. And to make seven, we need a one. So it's one here, six there, and it fits one on first position with two on sixth position. Now this seven will be either three, four, or two and five. And this three. If we make this three and five, we can get two and one, and that works. So this is an option. What? No, three and five doesn't work, sorry. If we make this a four, this a three, then we get two and one, and that works. If we make those two and five, we need the two here, and the one there, and that works also. So that's not the place to look for now. 13 does not use the six nor the eight, so it has to be four and nine. And this 12 uses this cell and this cell without using nine or four, it has to be five and seven. In this order, because of this five. So now we know that the 7 here does not use the 4. It has to be 2 and 5. And 2 has to be here because it's used in the sum that gives 3. And we get the 1 in 5th position. And this 5 disambiguates the 5-8 pair. And this 6 gives that and that. Here, three, seven, and eight. So all of this is fine. On this column, I still need one and two, and they're not here. One is not here, so we get the one and the two. Four and five here. We know which way they go.
that this 4 gives the 2. Here we need an 8, it goes at the bottom, and a 6 here. So let's do some Sudoku. I need 1, 3, and 5. This one puts a 1 here. 1, 3, and 4, sorry. Here, 7 and 4. There's a 4 here. Here, 8 goes there, and a 6. And that's a 3. I still need a 9, because of this 9 goes there. I get a 6, a 2. 4 and 3, because of this, that's a 4, that's a 3. I get this 4, this 5, this 7. And now those will allow us to disambiguate the end. We need here 1, 6 and 9, 6 and 9 there. 1. And you see that there's a deadly pattern here, which will be disambiguated by this, I guess. Let's have a look at the remaining possibilities. 5 and 8 here. And there's a 3 somewhere here. So we know that the 14 uses this on third position. And so it will be 3 and the position of the 9, which won't be 9, because if I put 9 here, it can't, 9 can't be in ninth position, so it has to be on 4th position, so those are 3 and 4. And it works, and we get this and that, and a 2, and a 7. And now 2 and 3 to have a sum of 9, that's 3 plus 6. And this concludes the solve of this very nice and not really hard position sum Sudoku puzzle by the professor Richard Stock. In my opinion, 58 points was a bit overrated for this puzzle. This puzzle was very good, and I guess it is due to the fact that it was the first appearance on Sudoku Grand Prix of this variant, but having sold quite a number of position sum Sudokus, I think this one was among the easiest. Well, I, well, I won't deny the fact that it was good to to just uh, to just get the points. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video and see you soon on Sudokana.